Hello everyone. You must have heard all sort of things from many people like you have eyes like your mother or your nose is just like your father and things like that. Many features that we possess like our external body appearance, our body language or even our habits, a large portion of it comes from our parents. Not only humans but all organisms of different species which exist on earth have characteristics similar to their parents now if you look at this picture the animal with its kid don't they look almost alike we can say that the kids are the tiny forms of the parents so the question arises how does this happen why the offspring and the parents look so much alike we will try to answer these questions in this chapter the transfer of different characteristics or traits like eye color shape of the nose complexion and many more from the parents to the offspring is what we call as heredity we have already learned that new organisms are formed from parents either by cell division in asexual reproduction or by fusion of sex cells or gametes in the sexual reproduction all the information which is transferred to the child is contained in the cell of the parent which is involved in reproduction in case of sexual reproduction it is contained in the sex cells or the gametes now what is that a cell has which contains the information the answer is gene a gene is a basic unit of heredity which contains information for particular characteristic for example if we talk about height as a characteristic then there will be a particular gene responsible for it or if we take some other characteristic like the colors of the eyes then there will be another gene which will be responsible for it also genes contain hereditary information which can be also sometimes called as genetic information now what a gene actually is let's try to find out each cell including the sex cell contains thread like structures in the nucleus called as chromosomes a human cell has 23 pairs of chromosome A chromosome is made up of DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid which is a helical molecule. Now a gene is a unit or segment on the DNA which is present and controls specific characteristic in an organism. Each chromosome has thousands of genes controlling thousands of characteristic in the organism. So we can say that genes are the reason why we look so much like our parents despite of being so much alike any offspring does not look exactly similar like its parents we have already studied that during any type of reproduction variations are bound to appear in the dna of the new organism during asexual reproduction small variations are produced and during sexual reproduction large variations are produced now when a new generation is produced from the previous one variations are produced this second generation will again reproduce and produce certain variations in the third generation this third generation will have variations inherited from the second generation as well as some new variations so we can say that in every generations variations get accumulated this is the basic process that happens in what we call as evolution over generations variations get accumulated and give rise to a more evolved species but how this evolution is helpful evolution basically increases the chances of survival in the environmental conditions or we can say that the species evolved to survive in the changed environmental conditions we have studied the importance of variation in the chapter of reproduction there we have seen the example of bacteria living in temperate waters Now we will again take the same example and understand the process of evolution. Now when the temperature of the water body rises due to global warming the environmental conditions become harsh. So the bacteria is living in that region will reproduce offspring which are more heat resistant than the previous one. Over the generations the trait of heat resistance will become strong and the species will be tolerating higher temperatures. and thus will survive this is how evolution helps in survival so in this video we have seen briefly what is heredity and evolution 
In our later videos, we will be seeing these both concepts in a detailed way.